Hey everyone. So this is going to be the last video that I make on this particular um, loadout drama. Uh, so basically what ha happened was uh, a lot of stuff happened both in the Conclave Discord server. Uh, you know, a lot of things happened in uh, some of uh, L's video's comment sections. And uh, I think uh, most notably like just a lot of different people in game coming at me for like the same for like the same like specific reasons and so uh that, that's so like I sort of just wanted to like overview basically everything that happened but uh before I do what I basically want to say was that like I haven't really changed my mind about basically any of the things I said before so uh if you uh, watch the, you know, the other videos and stuff, uh, you pretty much know what I'm about to say, but, you know, it's, I think it's better to have, like, everything in one video, just, like, a big summary. Uh, but also the other reason why I'm making this is because, like, uh, I also want people to know that I'm not, uh, completely, like, trying to cut people off on this. Because, like, wh what I told L and what I'm uh, gonna use this video to tell the many other people who are against me in the same way uh, is that you know I'm I'm pretty much just done with uh, trying to reason with them at least like with me being the um the initiator because it's just not working and I'm not and I'm not gonna be able to deal with it like that for much longer uh, so I'm not going to be trying to do that anymore, but instead, uh, if people want to try and reason with me uh, more so than other people already have, uh, you know, there are ways to do that which is not what these people are doing. And I'll talk more about that later. But I think if you, like, generally know how to, like, be respectful, just, like, know generally how to just respectfully reason with someone, like, understand. Uh, something that you disagree with and you know try to convince them out of it uh, maybe like if you just like understand the basic principles of that which is like pretty much just like basic decency really uh, if you understand that then there isn't really much here that you need to hear really but uh, I'll say it towards, towards the end anyway alright summary time so basically my overall mentality with like just like playing not just Warframe but something that like applies to other ga games in general is that like uh well other games that I'm trying to be competitive in and that have like custom gear choices like this uh what I r really want want to do is is prepare myself to be a uh, skillful long term and like it doesn't even like only apply to competitive stuff like I think uh, I remember saying before how when I heard about Limbo's rework, I didn't want to continue working on my Limbo until the rework came. Uh, that's just an example, which is, you know, for, uh, obviously the game's PvE. But, um, uh, there are also examples like that for PvP. Like, for example, uh, as I, as I also said, before, Staticore is one of my favorite weapons, but I just wouldn't use it in its current state in Conclave because I don't know how it's going to end up after the nerf that it very much needs to have. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm not trying to like focus on gaining skill with Staticore because uh, I don't know if that skill is really going to apply much in the future unless I'm like uh, just using the uh, uncharged shots I don't know how much good that really does anyway I might experiment with that later but um I don't usually like hold back or anything when, when I'm playing like I've, I've also said before like this is all gonna be like this is uh, mostly if not completely gonna be stuff I said before but um yeah, I don't hold back. I pretty much always try my hardest, and you know that's be that's because uh, it's what I I enjoy like not only doing, but it's also what I enjoy uh, playing against too. And also because you know I am very much trying to get better, it only makes sense that I'd put in maximum effort towards doing that. 
so with that said, uh, this doesn't only apply to mechanical skill because, like, uh, what a lot of people uh, think a uh, skill really like just boils down to was like just mechanical skill. And not to say that like I don't like uh, respect that in some ways, where like a uh, player like L definitely does have a, lo a lot of mechanical skill, but like. Uh, in a game like Warframe, it's not everything. You know, I, I'll i make the Pokemon comparison again. Where, like, uh, you can, like, be skillfully, um, playing, like, in the, um, in the battles, but if you don't have a good team, that's not gonna, uh, uh do you very well. And you could also say vice versa. Of course, Pokemon doesn't have any uh, mechanical skill. It's all strategy plus some luck. Whereas Warframe, you know, sort of like takes um, a lot of that strategy factor and puts um, mechanical skill with it. Of course, they're two different, two very different categories, but two very different categories of games. But you can see the overlap I'm describing pretty clearly. So. Uh, with that said, you know, I also do a lot of calculations and stuff. You know, I pay attention to statistics and stuff like that. I'm, I've am i been a pretty hardcore mix and maxer for a ton of things, really, but... Uh, I think Warframe is actually, it's actually especially true because of, like, how complex the min-maxing can be. And uh, I've also applied whatever I could put of that to um, Conclave, uh, which is why like you know a lot of this time I've been experimenting a lot so like a lot of my effort isn't just um isn't just playing the game it's you know doing a lot of stuff to like uh, set up uh, beforehand strategize beforehand and you know that's how I eventually came up with this loadout right here the loadout that everybody has problems with so if you've been paying attention up to this point uh, you know that I put a lot of work into making sure my loads have good synergy and stuff. Uh, I personally uh, think that this loadout is my is sort of like the best result of that, uh, just because of well the results I get with it, and you know how good the synergy is that I pointed it out to be. And then also, if you've been listening, you know that uh, I not only like to uh, try my hardest in basically all regards but I also like other people to try their hardest as well. And my only real restriction is when I think something is overpowered in, in which like a nerf for it is warranted and so my game skill with it at that um at, at that current state won't eventually matter. Meaning trying to gain skill with that would be a waste of time effectively. So with all of that, you should be able to understand uh, why I would use a loadout like this. So yes, I do think that edit's pretty balanced, and if I'm wrong about that, I'd very much like to know that I'm wrong. But uh, people just don't give me good reason to think otherwise. And even then, you like you don't really have to convince me if you uh, want stuff like this to end. You really just have to make it clear that it is overpowered. You know, just make it uh, something that uh, not only the community is aware of, but something that the devs would also be aware of. You know, go on the forums or whatever. Uh, make it, make it known. And you know, if it is eventually nerfed, then I'll just have to deal with that. I'll have to adapt to uh, just the current state of uh, whatever gear I have. So, uh, but ashing players for like u using what they what they decide to use isn't really gonna help because like uh, look at me for example like people have been trying to do that and uh, and I've been trying to reason with them too like I've been trying to understand and stuff but uh, as I think I said already they've really driven me to the point of wanting to double down but. I do want to make sure that I allow people who are actually reasonable to be able to uh, try and reason with me. 
So now I'll talk about you know actual reasoning. Uh, as you saw here, L tried to use a bunch of cheese to prove a point, but uh, he ended up doing badly with a loadout like that. You know, he had Loki, he had Archaplasmor, he had Staticor. Like Staticor is like the most notable thing to me. And then he had a uh, Architron, and he still like got twice as many uh, deaths as he did kills. Uh, this gameplay right here is another gameplay of like uh, basically just people being annoyed of me. You know, I thought I was cool with these guys too, but I think like uh, I guess they, I guess sort of turned out say uh, because of this loadout. Uh, there's a point in the match where I think that they're ac actually teamed up. Uh, I'm not sure, but like, it's at least clear that they like prioritize me. Uh, in the end, though, I do only end up with one death, so that's uh, pretty satisfying. Especially since I think uh, Seth is using Static Core. So like again, they're uh, trying to cheese, but uh, they're not uh, really able to get me with it. I think Seth eventually actually rage quits too. I know he like leaves the game. I don't. Uh, I don't like to assume that it's a rage quit though. But like, you know, often seem these often seem like rage quits. So there's that. Yeah, I end up with only uh, one death this game. And you can see that uh, these are overall just like poor attempts too. Well, uh, well, I don't even know what th what exactly they're attempting to do like I don't know if it's if it's just to try and embarrass me just to like uh, try to feel better about something or if they're actually trying to convince me like I honestly don't know what they're trying to do because like uh, it's not something that's working like I know that that sounds like something that someone would say like as like uh, as like a I guess like a backhanded insult maybe uh, I'm not sure the terminology for that but like you know the the people would try to say something like that uh, insultingly but uh, this is like honest uh, confusion here actually like I don't know what exactly they want to accomplish but it seems like they accomplished nothing so yeah I'm really wondering about that so the big a uh, lesson in reasoning here is to just not to not be be like these people really like that's like the main requirement like uh use reasoning that is like actually consistent like I know a lot of these these people like to say that just like AOE weapons in general are overpowered uh just as an example but you know the example I give against that so often because it works so well is uh angstrom and I think there are many other AOE weapons that just don't do very well either, like uh, you could probably uh, consider like Glaives and stuff uh, stuff like Seer and just if you want to go like a Wire Blast radius, even like Tonkor I'd even say Penta, like nobody used Penta uh, and, and stuff like that so it's just reasoning that doesn't work, like it's reasoning that's so easy to show that it's wrong and then, you know, what a lot of pe these people do is, like, instead of referring to reasoning, they'll resort to, well, just bashing, I guess. And, uh, you can see how well that does for them. So, for any person who is reasonable or wants to be reasonable, you know, just try to think really hard about it. Like, think about the specific things that, you know, that these things do above other weapons, uh, how people exactly can use them uh, to be disproportionately effective from what they would normally be, and for that to not uh, be because of like um, a really well uh, made loadout, but because like the style itself, like the usage itself, is very much overpowered. Like, is the combination uh, just that much stronger, or does it allow the presence to do more things?